Here we have an absolute quadratic function, right? We have a quadratic function and then absolute over it with an inequality. And we need to solve this. So the problem here is solve x squared minus 5 absolute value less than equal to 4. Okay. Now, to understand this question, we should first try to sketch it. So let's make a neat sketch of this. So let's say this is our coordinate system. And let's first sketch x squared minus 5. So let's say this is the sketch for x squared minus 5. So it will have a vertex as minus 5. So this is, so this is our parabola x squared minus 5. And to do absolute of it, we need to flip the negative half. So the negative portion here will flip like this, correct? And then we get this function, correct? So we have this flip now and uh, the positive part remains same as x squared minus 5, correct? Now, so basically you see this function is this was minus 5, so this function was initially x squared minus 5. So to make it absolute, we flipped this portion, so we got 5 here. So you can write absolute function, this x squared minus 5, as equal to x squared minus 5 if x is greater than these points. So what are these points? These points are the values where x squared minus 5 is 0, right? So we can calculate this at it will be 0 at x equals to 5, square root 5. So at square root 5 we'll have and square root minus 5 will have zeros of this function x square minus 5 correct now so x square minus 5 equals to 0 at x equals to square root of 5 plus and minus so if we are less than minus 5 then the function remains as same correct and uh, if we are greater than this value, then also the function remains same as x squared minus 5. Five square root, not five. Five square root, right? X value. But if we are within minus n plus square root 5, then the function actually flips, right? It becomes minus of x squared minus 5 if x is greater than or equal to minus square root 5 and less than or equal to square root of 5. Is that okay? At square root 5 it is 0. So that is how this function can be defined. Now the problem really is absolute value of this function should be less than or equal to 4. So 4 means that this is 5. 4 means somewhere let us say we draw a line here. Let's say this is 4. Okay. So let's say this is 4. Now, where is this function less than or equal to 4? So, these are the points of intersection where the function is 4. So, that is a part of solution, equal to 4. And less than means, like if I draw a perpendicular here, then you can see that in this region, so I can draw here in this region, when the x value is between these two points then f of x is less than 4 right after that it's more than 4 it's more than 4 between these two points do you see that it is less than 4 between these values do you see that portion so that is the solution set what we need to find really is these points where the function is 4 and once we know then we know the range or the domain in which the functions values less than 4. Okay, So let's figure this out. So what we will do is we'll try to solve it in two parts. So one part is the original function where it is positive, right? So that means 
we will consider a portion here when we will say well if x is less than minus square root 5 or x is greater than square root of 5 in that case and second is the portion where the absolute becomes reciprocal inverse right minus rather so it is where x is greater than equal to as you defined here this portion right between minus square root 5 and plus square root 5 correct since here it becomes negative it becomes negative of x square minus 5 right absolute value so we'll solve for this equal to 0 for the time being and here the positive function the original graph right we didn't flip that part equals to 4 we'll find equal to 4 because we'll get these points and then we know between these points the function is less than equal to 4 so that is going to be our strategy right let's solve this so this gives us x square equals to when we take 5 on this side we get 9 so x is equals to square root of 9 plus and minus and that gives us plus and minus 3 so therefore we get this points as so this point for us is minus 3 this point for us is plus 3 okay that point solving this this is equal to 4 not 0 so we bring minus here so we get x square minus 5 equals to minus 4 and x square equals to 1 therefore x is equals to plus minus 1 right both squares will give you 1 correct okay? So these points are minus 1 and plus 1 for you, correct? Therefore, we can see that the solution for the problem and the real problem was x squared minus 5 absolute value should be less than equal to 4. So we can see from here that it is less than equal to 4 if the x value is between minus 3 and minus 1 or between 1 and 3 correct therefore the solution is that one we can write including both right because less than equal to so the solution is between minus 3 and minus 1 and say union 1 and 3 correct so we can write like this as our solution well in the inequality form you can always write like this that x is greater than equals to minus 3 or less than equal to minus 1 and uh, between 1 and 3 so between this our functions value will be less than equal to 4 this is a very good question and uh, it requires a lot of understanding I hope you get and if you get a similar problem in the test, you will be in a position to do it correctly. Thank you.